What do you remember about the first time we met? The first time we met, you were sitting across from me, interviewing me. But I specifically remember you started asking me questions about different websites and things that I had done. And then you figured out that I was from the Midwest because you stalked me on Twitter. Stock, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> How do you describe me to others? I remember like a year ago describing, well, I told this to you, um, but not, not necessarily to others, but um, as like a hurricane of energy, um, <laughs> which uh, I don't know if you remember that conversation. <laughs> but it was like, there's, there's so much going on in like our marketing organization mm -hmm. from all the different disciplines that are happening. And you've done, like such a great job of moving through that with a huge amount of energy and really needing to push through all those different things and it's a different challenge in every every single place. <laughs> How does technology affect our relationship? Hmm. <clears throat> Obviously we work for a technology company so that's one thing but even more so in the way that we have to communicate and it bothers us how much we slack each other or text each other mm -hmm. or call or, or whatever it is on, on the other side, which I think can stress a lot of people out because technology is just always there. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that uh, the, the cynical answer is, is one where like we can travel somewhere together and not talk to each other the whole time because <laughs> we're both like on our computers or something else. And so it's, I thought it was funny that like my mind went to that, that more cynical answer and your mind went to, well, when we're not in the same place, we can talk to each other. Um, but That's both, actually both, true. Both things happen, which is pretty funny. Just when we're, on, when we're on planes together, we literally just sit there in silence. Yeah. What made you want to start this company? Um, I think that, so my first two jobs out of college were both at um, really high, they were at companies that had just recently experienced extremely high growth. Uh, and I think in both cases, the culture deteriorated in a really meaningful way. And I think in a lot of cases, it's very negative ways. And so what I wanted to do was go kind of start at the ground floor and from the ground up, be able to build an experience that was very valuable and rewarding um, for myself and for everyone else involved. You know, I've actually never heard why you started this company until this moment, mm -hmm. except for your like encounter after the hackathon. I actually never knew. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Maybe we should talk to each other more on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what originally made you move to New York? I really, really wanted to work in media and I care deeply about like content and reading and learning and and I would like sit on my couch in college and flip through every single page of a magazine and I would look at the um, you know the masthead and like read every single person that worked there and I would look at the ads and I would flip all the way to the back page and it just hit me one day like maybe maybe I need to to like move out of the city and do something really amazing with with content and so I packed my bags and I moved to New York City with two suitcases and slept on a couch in Queens for nine months. I just felt like at the time, I mean, it was 2008, like things were changing a lot and it was not really the most popular thing to be the one who was going into digital and technology. So I chose to do that instead because I wanted to challenge myself every day instead of just be focused on something that people had been crafting and you know perfecting for years. Awesome. What is a trait of mine you wish you had and why? Um, well, I would say that, uh, so I, as you mentioned earlier, I fall asleep on planes and I fall asleep in like, movies and I, I just kind of pass out a lot. Um, and uh, I kind of wish that I, like, especially on planes and such, could like stay awake and get more things done because it's not a, the most comfortable sleeping place. I would rather like sleep <laughs> when I'm in a bed and work when I'm on a plane, but can't really do that. And when I've traveled with you, I've noticed <laughs> that you have no problem doing that. So I think you just need to start drinking a pot of coffee every day yeah, I mean, <laughs> besides I, your energy drinks because they're not working. I'm on top it's of that already. Because and burn with sugar. Yeah. No, there's no sugar in those. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Where do you think our greatest misunderstanding is and why? So one of the hardest things that I think in building and collaborating across teams that I found personally is that you have 
people with different backgrounds that have like a very, very specific way of thinking about a problem or a challenge. I keep coming back to this, this scenario that I remember so vividly where we were, we're writing an email around something and um, on the engineering team like wrote something along the lines of, you know, something, something, blunt force, I don't know, something else. And like to him, it was like, do not change that word, right? Like this is exactly what it is. And to me, I was like, did somebody die? <laughs> like what happened, right? But I mean, I think um, it can be challenging as a marketer to, to take language or to take something and turn it into something that's going to drive an experience for our customers. So my, my, um, Question for you is like, how can I like help that team? I think it probably the most impactful are when we each have like past experience or like intuitions that apply to the other person's situation, yeah. so that you can like really help provide insight and like experience and help someone get over something without you know learning from their mistakes, learn from the other person's mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. What is our greatest, our current greatest challenge? What is our current greatest challenge? There's so many of them. I, I think it's interesting that you try and set your team up for your team's own future, and then the world changes around you, mm -hmm. and like the right thing to have done three months ago all of a sudden is not anymore, and being able to like get through that change and be able to uh, you know, continue to keep your eyes like on the vision, I think is really, it's a hard thing. What's okay. a moment we've shared that you wish we could relive over and over again? You know, I think it goes back actually to what you were saying when you like get a bunch of people in a room and you are going through some type of crisis or you need to get something done or we're, we're just like we're building something right now and when you go through these moments where they're super, super stressful and you have to figure something out together, it can be incredibly hard and some of the moments that I felt are the most impactful both in our relationship and in growing the company have been moments where it's been so incredibly stressful and then we come out the other side of it with like a smile on our face and feeling like we've accomplished something and I think that there have actually been a couple of them over the last six months to a year and they've like made me even prouder of working for this company and being here and wanting to hustle and deal with the stress that goes into growing a company. You know I think that a lot of the different things that we're doing on the marketing side of the house, it's, it's obviously, it's hard to measure effectiveness. And so just, you know, really seeing and experiencing those as well as um, kind of hearing from other people about how they experience it and, and seeing that positive impact, what I would say is inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it is though, like it's, um, it's a little bit like, I'm always a little bit taken aback to hear it as well because it's part of our standard day to day, and mm -hmm. we kind of push things out, and you don't get immediate validation, you don't, ex and you don't necessarily yeah. expect it. And so then to hear from a like hear from someone and hear their synthesis of like all these little things that we deal with day to day, kind of coming together as a whole, uh, and and that having like a positive impact on them is really awesome. Yeah, that's amazing.